Hey everybody, thanks for coming fishing with me today. It's transition time. The fish are moving around. They're starting to get shallower. They're they're not holding nearly as much on on stuff as they as they have been. So you guys see these two open water fish right here um, that I'm coming over. I normally don't target open water fish, but today a lot of them were in the open water. So I did target them. Here he comes. He's looking up at it. Does he want it? Yep, there he goes. He got it and tried to run with it. <laughs> you saw him. He, he grabbed it and tried to run the other direction. This was a good fish. This was a 13-inch fish. The very first one I caught on this day. And uh, this video is going to be a little shorter than a lot of mine because I only fished for a few hours and my brother came out to join me. And uh, so I you know, I turned the cameras off. Now watch this fish. See that that lure? It's It was like two feet away from him, but he still saw it and he came after it. This fish was hungry. There he is. So he, he came after it. And that's how they're going to act during spawn. Like as it gets closer and closer to spawn time, which is only about a month away, um, maybe just a few weeks away, they're going to start to get more aggressive. And you're going to start seeing some uh, some fun stuff as these fish get more aggressive. Now here, guys, the uh, the, the, the live scope screen, kind of a little glitchy. It's choppy. Um, you guys can kind of see that, that jig falling down there. And uh, you can see the target I'm after right in between those two limbs right there. It comes over it. There he is. Now he was holding on stuff, so he, you know, a little easier to pick him up. Now I do lose the uh, the live scope screen on this next catch, but watch. I get to kind of walk you through what I'm doing above the water here. So I'm letting. See that little swish I do there? That's me letting line out. So I keep that bail open and I let line out until I get to the depth I want. And it lets me uh, get down quicker doing that. And then I can just let it drift over. There he is. Gives you a little more control when you have more line out like that and you can get down to the depth quicker. Um, I just wanted to point that out for anybody that, that might be new to this. On, you know, how, are you, how are you getting down quick like that? And that, that's what I'm doing. Keeping that bale open and uh, letting it get down to the depth I want. And you can just barely see this fish right here holding at the top of that log come over him I spook him now this was about the third pass so I got a little more aggressive on this pass but look he didn't go far so this fish when he got spooked he went right under the boat I'm, I'm not sure if he may be in the shadow of the boat maybe that's where he retreated to but he didn't go far at all now watch this wham so he <laughs> once he could get in a position where you know he was in control and could ambush the bait that's that's what he wanted you know they don't want to be surprised they want to be the one that's doing the surprising. Um, and he, he sure did there. That's a good fish. I uh, By the time my brother got out here, I, I already had six fish that were over 12 inches. So I was very glad he came out with me today. I actually got checked by the game wardens today for the first time in a long time. We were fine. I mean, legal for everything, but it had been a while. All right. So this is a, a foaming to watch. Watch this. All right. So I went over that fish, nothing, right? He that's a that's a good mark, and he's set up right there like you would have expected that to get get hit. The jig's bright, the fish is bright, and when I say bright, they're both as bright as they can be, right? So they're in line. They are in line. That jig's right beside this fish. He's not doing anything. Now I know this is the color they want today. Everything is hitting this color. This is that Berkeley power bait minnow jig that I've been using and it's like the hokiest minnow jig thing ever right it's it's not a fancy hair jig or any of my normal you know crazy colors this this fish hadn't hidden it and so I didn't know what was going on that's three passes three pa and look he's like ah I'm getting out of here these little minnows are bothering me and so he drifts on but I, I'm not giving up on this fish he was a big mark and this was the first one of the day that I'd actually had trouble catching. So anything else today, if I if I got the the bait close to it, it was hitting it, slamming it. This was the first one that I'd had trouble with. And so I followed him. That's him out there around 25 feet. And I'm I'm drifting up closer to him. And I haven't changed jigs. I'm i you know, I'm just sure if I present this in just the right way or bother him with it long enough, he's gonna hit it. Because that's usually how it works. These, 
you know, Crappie just can't stand to see bait for too long. And there he is. He couldn't stand it. He, you know, enough passes, and, and he had to bite it. He had to. And I think that's that's good to know. You know, if you're persistent with it, Crappie will bite. Like, they, it's, that's what they do. Their instinct is just see bait, hit bait. That's, it, they hardly ever completely lock up for real. Um, there are days when they're slower to bite that you have to change presentation, um, but the, they almost always will bite in some way. This is a hard one to spot. So you guys see that tree there? You see the middle of it, how it's a little brighter than the rest of the tree? It's because it's got a crappie on it. And it, there he is. All right, did he see it? Yep, he's coming out. Bam. Bam. I like I like those because it you know it took me a long time to be able to spot those. Now these next few catches, I'm gonna lose the live scope screen, but again, this is where I'm gonna point out what I'm doing with the finesse here. So you guys saw that? You see that how I'm jerking way over to the left? That's because my cast went to the right of where I intended it to. And so I'm dragging over to the left hard to get it lined up with this fish. And that's what I do. If, if I don't go exactly where I want to, you can kind of steer your jig that way. There he is. And once you get it in line, once the jig is as bright as it can be, and the fish is as bright as it can be, you're lined up. Just keep your pole tip in that beam, and you know, you'll be swimming right to the fish. But that's how I get my jigs right where I want them. Is, you know, if, I, if it's a bad cast... I'll bump them, bump them, bump them left or right to try and get them right where I want. That's a good fish. And there were so many good fish today. Like, I thought I was going to hit my seven in just two hours. But luckily, my brother came out, and uh, we were able to get... We got our 14 big fish. Um, and it, it was a real good day of fishing. We went up 24 total, and uh, 14 of them were real big. He caught the biggest one of the day. Only the second biggest fish that's coming in my boat. There <laughs> You guys saw that, how I did that two bumps? That's because I, I wanted to make sure that hook was set. But he, uh, my brother went up catching a 15 and a half inch fish, and it was 2.2 pounds. So we had a really fun day out here. And guys, that's that's it for the fishing video for today. I am going out again. I'm going to be on a lot here the next few weeks. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it, everybody. And I'll see you all again next time.